Okay, Roar, Drake the Dragon, aka De the Tenebrian Demon Derg. Well, Dirties, whatever you want to call it. Red's actually kind of my color now, but I still like purple. There's a Drakey back there with the blown out wings. I don't know, he might be a gift to uh, inflate a buster. Should give him some stuff, but he's like making all sorts of excuses too, so whatever. Um, well, the Rathies are shipped. Well, the first batch, I got a few more from orders this weekend. Didn't get any newer orders, kind of stinks as well, but oh well. We'll see. Um, I'm accepting crypto, and there is a person from Russia. I'm trying to find out if they can get me their cross shipper contact because I do accept crypto. And as of this weekend, I brought my crypto rig back online. It's a noisy son of a bitch, so it's been moved to the uh, server room at the office, assuming I don't get yelled at by my my uh, my alternate, which is basically possibly my replacement. But it's all cloud based anyway, so. Even if I get canned and they throw the gear out, it ain't going to do me any good anyways because it's worthless. <laughs> but the point of running a low-end rig is so that way every time there's a transaction, you lose a few coins. This way, you get those coins back. And this way, I can now say I will accept crypto, but I don't take a loss on accepting crypto until I actually convert it to cash or whatever. I did try to convert it to gold, but the company that was doing the holding actually went under for bad practices because, see, if you convert it to crypto, you convert it to gold, you ship me the gold, you completely avoid the U.S. dollar. That's the amazing part when you think about this. It's like saying that, you know what, let's barter and uh, you and I, let's just trade. That's it. And just pay for shipping. See, it's almost the same exact thing, but everyone's going to argue, no, 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 no. It's tax evasion. And I says, no, it's not. It's the same thing as bartering. But you know what? I did read the fine print. When you barter, you're supposed to value the goods. And there is a law that does cover some of the stuff where those of us who have reseller permits, we're supposed to, uh, and we do, take sales tax. That's why you may see a small percentage of California sales tax. Um, I, the only problem I run into is that I don't get the district right, so I consider pretty much everything LA County, which is an average of 10%. But when I was actually out back east to Riverside, I think I noticed it's lower than Torrance. Torrance is a certain area that Carson is 8.25. I don't know why Carson's... Actually, I'm going to have to ask them if they're actually under Carson territory, because this is what confuses me. It's 10.25. They have district taxes, so I just take the highest district, and I just make up the difference. It's only a few bucks here or there. No big deal. But I'm just kind of a little bit annoyed about there that's so asinine in California, California. Anyhow, so I finally got my favorite mug. Woohoo! Um, now to see if they're taking the applications because they seem to have problems with Rumble and I like Rumble but Rumble I think has a partnership with uh, so, so Locals so you might see me more on there. I'm going to be cross posting and I'll be posting some updates there I am going to essentially try to move off of mainstream material soon hopefully and I'm going to be rebuilding being a jack of single trades um, I will not comply and I will not follow and I will also not forgive and I will not forget. So you, most people can't convince me of anything. I have to new do it myself. Like buying a home and investing in one hand and building memories. Well, you guys pushed it. I'm going to be investing now. I'm whatever. The memories part, you know. They come and they go. Friends come and go. I remember people from back from high school, and I was so glad to run into them at furry conventions. But at the same time, I'm not a fucking libtard. I know my rights. I know my constitutional rights. I want to make that extremely clear that I know my rights, and you ain't going to stop me. I will pull the trigger when the time comes, as we say in IT speak when you're making decisions. Unfortunately, that's how I run IT too. Not always the best way, but you know what? We've had attacks and we've had our shares of wars and battles. And as my S45 would say, we keep winning. 
So there you go. And yeah, I want to end it on that note that yes, Rathies are all shipped out. And if you're looking for more, um, I'll probably be dropping some discounts. <sighs> Depending if I want to throw something for 9-11 day. Maybe I should do a 9-11. Nah. Because I got, I think, Veterans Day is coming up sometime next month as well. And then October is going to be a weird one because I normally have something going on on the 11th. But now I don't. It may be too late to actually bug my friend to see if that plan got changed and I can do a trip to Arizona and maybe visit Reliable Circuits as well. He's out there too. Another guy that I worked with. But 9-11... Or 10-11 is actually my birthday, so it's literally one month over. That's why I kind of remember some dates. Although 9-11 is like, what's so special about this day? Oh well, don't. <laughs> it's like, eh, just another number. Apparently I didn't get a comment for mentioning people's birthdays on 9-11, but... 9-11 was actually a great day. I remember those days in school. I remember 9-11... Was it 2000? The event happened. It was on TV, and then there was all these protests. I was breaking out in my school because before that, it was really everyone was all doom and gloom, goth era kids. I was kind of in that too. Then we had our EDM music, and then it's like oh, it's a super tech, but I was really quiet about it. I was like, go up to the tech guy and like, this is like. You know, you could just multicast it or just create a share on the network and just copy the files over instead of having to put it on like six disks, stuff like that. I'd give them a little bit of a hint and then they wouldn't know what it is and they would go out to the bathroom and get it done and here you go, it's done. Um, even when I did a lot of what before you would call it cyber security, it was just straight IT work. Now it's turned into cyber security and I should have went in that direction. I didn't know it turned into mainstream. This inflates biz could turn into a mainstream too as well. I don't know, but the cost is expensive and as much, and I hate to say it, the groups that love this stuff, you're dumbasses. It requires crude oil. <laughs> so, and to ship it too. My last order took a huge hit in profits due to shipping costs going way up. So you might see some revamping on how shipping is done because as an entrepreneur, we're always looking for something better. And just because a group can make something, which I'm now learning, even my tales that I lost, I should always have three people and even a, one another first two project that might get canceled because the scheduled date that was supposed to start last December and gave me an attitude on the sixth month and if you're gonna give me a 10 paragraph attitude that I'm only gonna to read to the first two sentence I want my money back I don't want excuses I want solutions okay if you're gonna work on it you work on it simple as that I'm not saying that there's anything wrong going on but if you're starting giving me excuses then I suspect otherwise I'm gonna take the project away and give it to someone else I don't really care if you're the best artist anymore. I don't care about that. I just say, get her done. So, anyhow, anyone knows Steven Crowder, willing to point my direction to him. I'm willing to work, and I'll say this plain out. Give me a minimum wage job to do your national IT, and I'll build your infrastructure in one month under a $100,000 budget. And you'll have streaming all over the web, and this piece of shit platform of YouTube as well as Twitter X with the new person they hired as their CEO is pretty much pissing me off so I know the internet I know communications I know World Wide Web I know protocols I may not know the latest programming languages okay but there are tools and packages you can buy there are some that are non cloud based and I hate to say as much as I love the the, the revolution of the cloud this may be the last year my car has more than once tried to turn the AC off on me this weekend which is really stupid and it's done this bullshit and everyone keeps telling me it's a computer that's crashing so I may call up my vendor and say they're, they're a vendor could the dealer or whatever you want to call it and just simply say one simple answer I'm not gonna fix this California didn't want it basically blacklisted me for over a year registering that car because I wouldn't get the firmware for the ABS updated. 
I'm like, but the firmware is working, but the ABS is working perfectly. I don't know what they change. It could be some sort of energy efficiency. And then they had me do a recall with some sort of oil leakage issue. It's, it literally installed the tube is all they did. So the vapors of the oil is not going next to the brake, whatever. But you know what? I'll ch have it checked by another shop hopefully soon while I do my next oil change or I get another discount. Usually I get one on Veterans Day. I was to see if his Valvoline did offer one last weekend and I forgot to grab it and I should have grabbed it and did an oil change. They usually do 20% off and I usually go with full synthetic. Um, I've learned that full synthetic has actually better mileage on it even though they force you to change it 3,000 miles, 6,000 miles, 10,000 miles, I don't know. But you know what I do? Is that I usually wait till there's a discount after six to three to six months there's a good 20% discount, then I change it then. Money is better for me. Because, all, because they normally just try to make you spend more money that way is what I've been finding out. Oils do last a long time and they do get gunked up. But I have seen it with some of the other stuff. But as far as the oil changes and the really only thing it improves on if you actually change the oil more often is the seals supposedly on the uh, compression rings from what I remembered. And it does help some wear and tear, but right now, I mean, a car is actually worth, the newer car is worth less than my older car because of the better suspension and the better transmission design. So that tells me a huge difference on trying to find that. So if I get my old car back, it's actually worth rebuilding and putting my electronics back in there. But as soon as I can get a shop again or a carport or something, I can build my Drake mobile, I will put a lot of money investing in it to make it more mine to build memories, not to build investment. Insurance in California might not like it, but you know, fuck them. I can't really say I'm getting sick and tired of this bullshit that they put through, put us through just to stay here. So one day at a time, I'm planning, as I say, I will pull that trigger when it comes.